Grab two foam pumpkins from Dollar Tree. You could either use a knife or a box cutter and you wanna cut these in half so that way you have a total of four pieces. And I personally wanted my pumpkins to have a darker undertone. So first I painted them with some black acrylic paint and then you wanna allow that to dry and then go over them with your choice of orange acrylic paint and allow those to dry. Now I will tell you if you're using a blow dryer or a heating tool to dry these, you wanna be careful because if you put the heat on them too long, they could bubble up or melt. So just a heads up with that. I then had this long sign that I picked up from Dollar Tree as well, found a good placement for my pumpkins. It was a lot easier for me to make sure that they were spaced out correctly when it's on its side. So do that if you have to, and then just began hot gluing those down. I then had some wooden letters that I also grabbed from Dollar Tree, spelled out the word fall, and just painted those with more black acrylic paints, allow those to dry, and then just glued the letters in the center of each of my pumpkins. Now you could add any kind of accent pieces to the pumpkins. What I ended up doing was hot gluing some Spanish moss on top of each of them. I ripped up some home spun fabric, made a bow out of those, and then I made a bow out of some raffia and just tied the two together. And then just glued those bows on top of each of the pumpkins as well. And there you go. I kept it pretty simple, but yet I think it came out looking absolutely amazing. I love the farmhouse primitive feel to this project. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.